OSHA has a series of regulations related to ladders and they're based on the various types of ladders that might be used. The first thing is that OSHA requires that all of the manufacturer's requirements be followed when using a ladder. Secondly then, ladders must be properly inspected before use to make sure that they are not broken or parts are missing or things like that. Then the standards relate to how a ladder has to be set. A ladder always has to be set on a good level surface and must be adequately secured. Then there are regulations on how the ladder might be used. A good example is a step ladder, where employees are not allowed to stand on the top step of a step ladder. Uh, they're also not allowed to use a step ladder in a leaning position, closed up and leaning against a wall. On straight ladders, or what we might call an extension ladder, uh, OSHA also requires very specific uh, safety rules be followed. And some of those include that the ladder set at a proper angle, which is normally uh, one out horizontally for every four feet vertically. They also have to be secured with a firm base and if an employee is going to step from a ladder to a surface up above, the ladder has to be secured so that the ladder won't shift while the employee is moving from the ladder. It also must stick up high enough about three feet above the landing to make sure that the employee has a handhold or a place that they can grab the ladder so when they swing onto the ladder they can make sure that their hands are properly used. Then there are our standards related to an employee reaching out away from a ladder and how an employee may stay within the ladder uh, to make sure that they don't fall. Each ladder then has very specific standards uh, related to its various construction issues.